mercurium. This is a metal that is very radioactive. And it's so radioactive that it glows with this pinkish purple color in the dark, as you can see right here. That comes from its radioactivity. And also because it's so radioactive, it's not used very often. It's primarily used as like an energy source for satellites and spacecrafts. But that's very specialized applications. And this, by the way, this is the first episode of my element collection series where you're not going to see anything that contains a, that contains any curium in it. That's because I'll never be able to obtain anything because unless I dig through a spacecraft, then um, that would be impossible. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to use gadolinium to represent it because gadolinium is the element that's most similar to curium. That's because of their similar electron configurations. Like, here is gadolinium's electron configuration, and below it is curium's electron configuration. You say they look a little bit similar, except for curium, the, um, the shell numbers, I believe, I think they're adjusted by one, because curium has one more electron shell than gadolinium. But they still got similar properties. Like, much like curium, gadolinium, and curium as well. They're both very hard metals, and they're quite brittle as well. Like, if I were to bend this thing just enough, then it would snap right in half. That is something you don't want to do, especially with something like curium, which, of course, costs a fortune because you can't really make it in in big quantities because in one ton of spent nuclear fuel there's about 20 grams of curium so imagine how difficult it is to acquire curium and by the way uh, curium is actually the first element to be named after a woman and it's named after Marie Curie which is a well-deserved name for it because because Marie Curie studied radioactivity, and she died from radiation. And that's why her grave has to be lined with a bunch of light around it. That kind of correlates to Curium's intense radioactivity.